The phrase emotional contagion has been coined to describe situations in which one person's emotions and related behaviours directly trigger similar emotions and behaviours in others, and it's particularly relevant in professional settings. In this video, I'm exploring emotional contagion, examining how our emotions impact those around us, both positively and negatively, and I'll also delve into recent research on how our vibrational heart energy, which is massively affected by our emotions, extends two metres or 12 feet away from us, impacting everyone around us. This is science, not woo-woo nonsense as we once thought. I'm Jo Banks. I've been a professional executive business coach for 15 years, and I'm sharing what I know. So let's dive straight in. The power of emotions. Our emotions are like ripples in a pond. They extend outward, influencing everyone around us in both subtle and profound ways. Understanding the impact of our emotions on others can help navigate our professional lives much more effectively. So let's take a look at how our positive emotions affect our working environment. Number one, boosting morale. When we bring positive emotions into the workplace, such as happiness, enthusiasm and optimism, we create an uplifting atmosphere. Our cheerful demeanour can be infectious, encouraging others to adopt a similar outlook. This collective positivity can boost team morale, making the workplace more enjoyable and productive for everyone. Number two, enhancing productivity. Positive emotions can enhance cognitive functioning, creativity and problem-solving abilities. When we approach tasks with a positive attitude, it can inspire our colleagues to do the same, leading to a more innovative and efficient team. This is especially important in collaborative projects where collective energy and creativity are crucial. Number three, strengthening relationships. Demonstrating positive emotions such as kindness, gratitude and empathy can strengthen our relationships with our colleagues. When we show genuine care and appreciation for others, it fosters trust and cooperation. These strong interpersonal bonds are essential for a harmonious and effective work environment. Now let's take a look at the negative emotions and the impact that they can have. Number one, spreading anxiety and stress. On the flip side, bringing negative emotions like stress frustration or anger into the workplace can quickly affect those around us. If we consistently express these emotions, they can create a tense and stressful environment. This can reduce overall productivity, increase absenteeism and lead to higher turnover rates as employees seek a more positive work environment. Number two, decreasing motivation. Negative emotions can dampen the motivation and enthusiasm of those around us. If a leader or influential team member is constantly negative, it can create a sense of hopelessness and disengagement among the team. This lack of motivation can lead to decreased performance and a decline in overall quality of work. Number three, undermining team cohesion. Chronic negativity can erode trust and cooperation among team members. It can lead to conflicts and misunderstandings, creating a fragmented team where individuals are less likely to collaborate effectively. This can significantly impair the team's ability to achieve its goals and can even create a toxic work environment, the kind that I've discussed in many of my previous videos. I've got a really good real life example of this. Very early on in my career, I had a leader who told me that every day in the shower, 
he chooses his mood because we can do that. We don't have to be held hostage to the mood that we wake up in. He said that as the leader of the organisation, it's his responsibility to manage his emotions and choose his mood. How he explained it was, if he goes into work in a bad mood, that will affect his immediate team underneath him. They will then be in a bad mood, which will affect the team below them. They will then be in a bad mood and that will affect the people underneath. And ultimately, that is going to radiate out to the clients. So therefore, he said, the most important thing I can do in a day is to make sure I set my mood before I even leave the house thought that was really powerful and that stuck with me. As I say, that was probably one of the first jobs I got when I heard that, but I think it's really powerful. So what's the science behind why our emotions have the ability to strongly affect those in our immediate vicinity? The science of vibrational heart energy. Recent research has revealed fascinating insights into how our emotions are not only expressed through our behaviours and facial expressions, but also through our heart's electromagnetic field. The Heart Math Institute has conducted studies showing that the heart generates an electromagnetic field that can be measured up to 12 feet or 2 metres away from the body. This field is influenced by our emotional states and so can really impact the people around us. So let's take a deeper look at this. Vibrational heart energy, the heart's electromagnetic field. The heart produces the strongest electromagnetic field in the body, far stronger than the brain. This field is not just confined to the physical heart, but extends outward, creating a bubble of energy around us. This electromagnetic field can be detected by others consciously or unconsciously, influencing their emotional states. Number two, emotional states and heart rhythms. Positive emotions such as love, gratitude and compassion create coherent heart rhythms which are associated with increased mental clarity, improved decision making and overall well-being. Negative emotions on the other hand create erratic heart rhythms leading to stress and decreased cognitive function. These heart rhythms can be sensed by those within our electromagnetic field impacting their emotional state. Number three, interpersonal connections. The heart's electromagnetic field can facilitate a form of non-verbal communication. When people are in close proximity, their heart rhythms can synchronise, creating a shared emotional experience. This phenomenon underscores the importance of maintaining positive emotions as they can foster harmony and connection, especially in a team setting. Strategies for managing emotional contagion. Given the profound impact of emotional contagion and the transmission of heart energy, it's essential to manage our emotions consciously, both at home and in the workplace. So here are some strategies that can help you maintain a more positive emotional influence. Number one, self-awareness. The first step in managing our emotions is becoming aware of them. Regularly check in with yourself to identify and acknowledge your feelings. This self-awareness can help you manage your emotions more effectively and prevent negative emotions from affecting others. Number two, emotional regulation. Practice techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, mindfulness, exercise, all of which can help regulate your emotions. These practices can help you maintain a positive emotional state, even in stressful situations. For example, taking a few moments to practice deep breathing before a meeting or when the kids or a partner are about to drive you crazy can really help you enter the room and be present with a calmer 
and more positive demeanour, impacting those around you. Number three, positive thinking. Cultivate a habit of positive thinking. Focus on the positive aspects of your work and relationships. This doesn't mean ignoring the challenges and being toxically positive, but rather approaching them with a constructive mindset. By framing challenges as opportunities for growth, you can maintain a positive attitude that inspires others. Gratitude practices. Incorporate gratitude practices into your daily routine to boost your mood and emotional resilience. There is lots of science behind gratitude practices. Consider keeping a gratitude journal or taking a moment each day to reflect on what you're thankful for. Expressing gratitude to colleagues can also enhance their emotional well-being as well as making you feel good, which is going to strengthen your relationships. Number five, empathy and compassion. Show empathy and compassion towards your colleagues. Understand that everyone has their own struggles and challenges. By offering support and understanding, you can create a more positive and inclusive work environment. Number six, healthy boundaries. Set healthy boundaries to protect your emotional well-being. This includes knowing when to step back from negative situations and taking time for self-care. By managing your stress levels, you can maintain a positive influence on yourself and those around you. The wrap up. Emotional contagion is a powerful force that shapes the workplace environment. Our emotions, whether positive or negative, can have a profound impact not only on ourselves, but on our colleagues, influencing their mood, motivation and overall performance. The emerging research on vibrational heart energy adds a fascinating dimension to our understanding of emotional interactions, highlighting the importance of maintaining positive emotions. By cultivating self-awareness, practicing emotional regulation and fostering a habit of positive thinking, we can harness the power of emotional contagion to create a more harmonious and productive workplace. As individuals, we have the ability to influence the emotional climate of our work environment, contributing to a positive, thriving professional community. As a parent, we also have the ability to entirely shape the rest of our children's lives by modelling emotional maturity and emotional control. One area that I deal a lot with within my coaching practice is supporting adult children of emotionally immature parents. Having parents that model emotional maturity and emotional regulation is a gift that you can give to your children that money simply cannot buy. So, understanding and managing our emotions not only benefits us personally, but also enhances the well-being and success of everyone around us. What next? If you have any words of wisdom on this topic or any questions you'd like me to answer, please leave them in the comments section below. You know that I absolutely love interacting with you all and really value your feedback. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a thing. Finally, as always, a huge Thank you to everyone who stays until the very end and a massive thank you for all your support. It really does mean the absolute world to me.